Tony Robbins claims to be an expert in just about everything, from personal development, a scammy term pitched by MLM scam artists and life coaching cons, to self-help, only professionally trained and licensed psychologists and psychiatrists are qualified to provide this kind of assistance. To relationships, Robbins has been divorced once, with a second divorce in progress. And finally, to investments. He never worked in Wall Street and he has no professional experience in investing. He changed his real name to Tony Robbins, so he won't automatically be put on radar for being a fraud or scam artist. As a top investment analyst and the only person who truly predicted the financial crisis and advised my clients to start buying on March 10, 2009, I, Stathis, am truly disgusted that Tony Robbins has the nerve to be advising people on investments. His financial freedom book, Unshakable, was ghostwritten like many other of his books. He put his name on the book to lure his brain dead cult members. The co-author con man Peter Malouk runs an RIA called Creative Planning. The book offers no value, but spends most of the time pitching Creative Planning, which is a financial firm Tony had a partnership in. You should read the one and two star reviews to get an accurate idea of a book, especially books that have a large exposure and hype. Robbins is now claiming to be an expert in business. He has instructed his staff to refer to him and his crew of snake oil carnival barkers as business strategists. He's advertising a virtual business mastery event on YouTube. The entire mastery and masterclass pitch is a complete scam designed to lure the naive, poorly educated, low-income, lazy and desperate people who think their lives will radically change for the better. In fact, the term masterclass was created a few years ago from the MLM, life coaching, click funnel scam industry, as a way for parasites to suck even more money from naive individuals. Many of these scam artists holding masterclass never even graduated from college, nor they have achieved a high level of success or expertise. Yet they market themselves as experts in their fields. Not long after he slammed the ME2 movement publicly, Tony was accused of sexual harassment by several women. This made things worse for the bogus public image he spent many years and million of dollars to create. Is that why we see Tony Robbins appearing quite often on YouTube for his latest gimmick? Does this imply his business isn't doing so good these days?